fruit for a very long time and one of the things you can notice about big juicy fruits like this is that very commonly the fruit pulp attaches very tightly to the pit or the seed in the middle and it gets real messy when you're trying to get the fruit off without dealing with the pit now people's tendency when you pick up a knife and a fruit like this is to see notice that there's a, a line down the thing and so you tend to put the knife in there and slice it that way that's wrong, and I think this was known to the, your Pleistocene ancestors as well. Instead, what you do is you take the fruit and hold it at right angles to that line and cut it this way through the middle. So you're cutting it around the hemisphere, around the equator of the fruit. And then when you have that cut made, you twist it like that, and one of them comes off with no fruit pulp at all on it. Then you go to the other piece and do the same thing around that equator, again avoiding that line, and now when you twist that this way, that one comes free and you have that piece free and now the seed comes right out of there without any problem. So now you've got the fruit clean. Now that takes us back to the interesting question of this, this particular of neck free stone, if you like, is not much connection. But its ancestors had a really tight connection. So why did it have a really tight connection to the pit? That's because the big mammal who was going to pick this fruit up off the ground and the seed wanted to be swallowed and go through the mammal. What the mammal does is what, what it's, and so the fruit is t attached very tightly to the, to the seed so that the big mammal basically has to swallow it in order to get the fruit pulp. And you can watch them, they'll take it a rhinoceros or a taper will take a cling, um, a cling peach and spend a half an hour trying to chew the fruit off so he can spit the seed out and finally gives up and swallows the whole mess.